I recently converted an RTS pathing prototype to C++ and OpenGL. At first, there wasn't a perfect one-to-one -one logic transfer between the Unity and C++ versions. I tried running one of my maze scenarios and found the pathing agents were struggling to move through the maze like they previously did. Going forward, I wanted to make it easy and quick to pick up on things like path agent functionality breaking. I started making a new maze map. I wanted it to be bigger, more complex and have shortcuts for units that were small enough to move through narrow corridors. This would provide a good setup for testing path efficiency for units of different sizes. After building the maze map, a new nav mesh bug was revealed. I turned on some debug visualization and realized eventually it was a precision issue. Without going into too much detail, I decided on aligning the input vertices of the nav mesh to a grid. Vertices that are really close are now merged together. I implemented a basic test scripting system which created about 1000 units around the outskirts of the map and then instructed them to move to the center automatically. To accomplish this I needed to properly handle finding and moving along paths for units of different sizes. I found a paper titled Efficient Triangulation Based Pathfinding which I've linked in the description. I implemented the modified funnel algorithm from this paper and it appears to be very similar to the one used in StarCraft 2, if not the same. There were two things to do. I needed to use what the paper refers to as the triangle width, which is how wide the corridor between two edges in a triangle is. Then I could test the unit size against the triangle width in the A-star algorithm. This lets me know which triangles are on the path. The second thing was to generate the actual movement path which needed to be offset from obstacles by the radius of the agent. This was a bit more involved. So starting with the path of triangles from the A-star algorithm, get the vertices on the left and right sides. For each vertex, get its neighbor edge, get the average of the neighbor edge directions, get the perpendicular of this and set its length to the radius of the path agent and do this for all the vertices and then build the inner edges along the tunnel from the expanded vertex positions and then run a string pulling algorithm on these edges to get the most efficient path. Everything is running okay here with about 500 units on my 10 year old laptop but there's a lot of things that can still be optimized that I might talk about in another video.